We got good news about a certain Marvel Disney Plus series, but we got bad news about another one. Plus, Johnny Depp is Joker rumors, the Jungle Cruise trailer, and Warner Brothers announcing three games at E3, plus more for a daily distraction you don't want to miss. Hello, hello, I'm Chris Killian. I've got good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad. Production for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier is on hiatus as a result of the coronavirus outbreak. There, tried to rip it off like a Band-Aid. After filming the Disney Plus show for months at locations in and around Atlanta, production shifted to Prague just last week, but now the cast and crew are being asked to return to Atlanta, hopefully to resume filming very soon. But. The good news, we don't have details yet, but reports are coming out that Mark Ruffalo has officially signed on to reprise his role as Bruce Banner in She-Hulk. We kinda knew he was a shoe in but it's nice to have confirmation. Relax, internet, Kumail Nanjiani has not been cast as Wolverine. He's just out there having fun with his new buff body by cosplaying as Logan from Men's Health Magazine. Body-wise, I'd say he's actually on par with Hugh Jackman, which is super impressive. Hair and face-wise, I'd say he's on par with Lou Ferrigno Hulk. Also impressive. We got our first Jungle Cruise trailer yesterday. It's like the rundown meets Pirates of the Caribbean. Does anybody else remember the rundown? It's only The Rock's best movie. Either way, this is what it looks like. Rumors are circulating that Johnny Depp might be up to play the Joker in the Batman trilogy, and hopefully it's just a rumor. I like Johnny Depp, but he's been rumored to play the Joker every time a movie with the Joker has come out as far back as The Dark Knight, and it never pans out. Plus, not to be an ageist, but I just don't want Joker, who's 20-something years older than Batman. Sorry, not sorry. Even still, Boss Logic cooked up a really cool picture of Johnny Depp and what he might look like as Joker. He looks cool, still don't personally want it. Finally, Warner Brothers are reportedly looking to unveil three games at E3 this year. The upcoming Batman game, the rumored Harry Potter game, and the announcement of a new DC Universe game. However, there are also heavy rumors floating about that E3 might announce today they are canceling the event due to risks of the coronavirus. So weather them expectations, that's what I'm saying. They might have already canceled by the time you watch this. Ah, oh, God, I hate ending the show on bad news. Hope everyone's enjoying their week. You guys hit me up on the socials for a fun thing I'm doing. Maybe tag some friends in the comments. And a big thanks for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news.